Let me see who is still number one when we search Skater Tom on YouTube. Two videos on the top, number one and number third, when you search Skater on YouTube. So let's get into another video. In this video, we are going to learn about Wonderware in touch Skater software. You are going to learn how to create your first Skater project in Wonderware in touch scale in order to do that you have to just click on a scale application on your system now you have to click on new here this is the directory where your scale program would be stored i would uh, select the default directory to store this program and will click next okay, so here you have to write scale first here also you can write SCADA first this is going to be name of application or program that you create click finish now you can see SCADA first application or program is created you have to double click on that it would open up Wonderware in test SCADA software in front of you by default, you would see interface like this. There are windows and there are scripts and everything. But we will not make this so confusing for you. So I will try to make it easy for you. So just consider this windows is just like a screen that you create in LHMI or any other SCADA application. So you have to right click new. So you can name it window one or you can consider it's a similar to screen one. And that's it. You can see your screen is added you can make it as big as you like so after that you have to get into this wizard click on the wizard so there are many options here you can see that there are clocks frames lights I'm going to select on meter and double click on thermometer So uh, now you can double click on this and you can select the ranges. So I'm going to make this to 200 because I wanted to show the temperature of between 0 to 200. Now I change the temperature between 0 to 200 and after that what I have to do, this is uh, actually meter to display my output. Now I need something to get an input. So what I am going to do here, I will get into the wizard again i will get into the slider vertical slider i will select that so this is going to be used to give an input to this meter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click and change its range between 0 to 200 so once this is done then what i have to do is i have to double click and associate the tab with it so Remember, there are two options whenever you create a SCADA tag or HMI tag, there are two possibilities. One is internal tag and one is external tag. Internal tag is the tag that you created and that's going to be used within the SCADA application that's not connected to outer world. What, and on another end, if you talk about external tag, external tag is a tag that's being created and that's connected to some plc's a modbus device a opc what i mean to say any tag that, that is out of a SCADA application would be considered as an external tag so but here in this application because it's your first project so we are going to create an internal tag that is not connected with any of external devices so what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write temp, temp or temperature, you can say that and click OK. It is going to tell you that you have to define this temp because that's not already available. I will say OK to that. And then if in the case you see that uh, type, that's going to be memory real. I'm OK with that. If it is uh, memory real, my, my job is perfectly done in that. So I will change that as a memory real. In other cases, if you wanted to get it an external tag, so you have to select a respective field from here. Just select OK and click Save on that. And close. 
Now this tag is already associated. So this time I'm going to just do one thing. I am going to associate same tag, double click. So all you have to do is I'm going to show you again. You have to double click here and you have to select the tag temp. Good to go and select OK. So you have to make it bigger and run time. So now uh, you have to just give a value from the slider. Whatever the value you are applying from a slider that's coming up on your meter. So that's how you create a simple program in a Wonderware in Tuxkeda. If you like this video and wanted to see more content like that and wanted to see complete training videos about SCADA, make sure to hit the like button and comment below because, because your comments and likes would motivate me to complete this series. Thanks for watching this video. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.